this is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the new pulse system that I'm putting together in my lab. Slowly but surely it's coming together. As you can see, I've decided on the space between the plates and I've put together the plates here. I'm using the same spacing on this system as in the 3LR 1000s. It's less than an eighth of an inch between the plates. Also have mounted the two electrodes, just like the 3LR 1000 units. And I added the hydrogen out port there on the top. It's got two ports, again, like the 3LR 1000. The other port that I have there it's got the meter on the top. It's a pressure gauge. And this will give me a lot of flexibility. As you can see, everything's mounted on that plastic. That's a half inch plastic there. Being clear has its advantages. The two electrodes near my hand have not been glued in yet in the meter there hasn't been glued in either. I decided I'm putting that output meter configuration there because it's going to allow me a lot of testing ability. I received an email today asking me to verify, I guess, prove that I'm actually running on tap water. He wanted me to put a meter in the water for him. And unfortunately, I was rather rude about it. If you are watching this video, I apologize. I really don't have time for that type of thing. And if you've been following the videos, you'll see that it has to be tap water, especially with all the struggling I've been going through. I just don't have time to do this, those side tests. But what I should have written was that if I do have time, I will show you. As you can see, that's where the electrodes will be attached. It's, again, the same type of configuration of the three LR plates. It still seems to be the best way to attach the electrodes. I've played around with many other types, and uh, it's still the, the easiest way to access and the easiest way to attach. The reason I'm only using two plates and not more here is because the Meyer effect, I'll call it, is to make this these plates into a capacitor. And we should be able to see that proof on the two plates if it does work. I'm betting it will work. What you're looking here is one of the attachments I'm going to be putting on the pulse unit. The output port is pretty good sized port there. Um, I was going to have a straight port, but decided on this port again, which is on the 3LR 1000, because it gives me the option of attaching other things to it. As you can see, by putting the hose on that, or the 
you can attach many, many other things. I'll show you a good view of the particular one that I'm using there. It's reinforced. The Stanley Meyer idea about using the water as the insulator between the capacitor is brilliant, and I believe it will work. I'm not quite sure about the spacing, but I do not believe that has any thing to do with this. In other words, I don't believe that whether it's going to be an eighth of an inch or a little bit more or less will matter. As long as you tune the circuit right, it should work. Obviously, it, it's going to matter if you make it too big and you can't get enough energy there. The idea, again, is to turn the plates into a capacitor using the water in between the plates as the insulator that's in the capacitor. By pulsing the electric through it, the capacitor starts charging up till it reaches a certain amount, and then it discharges. But in, in this effect, what will happen is it will charge up to such a degree that theoretically we should be able to split the water. The hydrogen and oxygen should come apart. We're talking about the molecules, obviously. This is a, another piece of plastic that I'm getting ready to put on the top. It's a half an inch. There'll probably be electronics or something on the top of this, since those there you go. I was asked why I'm overstating the plastic, why I'm putting an overkill there, because I really don't need that thick of plastic or that much. As you can see, I'm building onto this plastic. This plastic is very easy to drill and very easy to cut and very easy to attach things to. That's why the 3LR was made with 